There was a time before the war began. Ukrainians flew their flag as a symbol of national unity, not to show what parts of their country they still control. Before February 24th was the day, Invasion Day was for months the cause of international speculation. US President Joe Biden says he's convinced Russia has decided to invade Ukraine. I chance this will happen in the next several days. It sent everyday Ukrainians marching into secluded forests. Are you scared of the Russians? No. No. Where they used what time they had left to train for the inevitable call to duty. Nobody wants war, but we don't have any choice. A dramatic rise in attacks in the country's Russian-backed breakaway territory of Donbass is adding to the fear that Russia will soon invade. The speculation fueled suspicion. Who are you? What are you doing in Ukraine? Do you have a connection to Russia? We've just been stopped by a member of the military. They are so worried about anything to do with the Ukrainian troops getting back to Russia. In late 2021, satellite images revealed new Russian deployments and drills at the border. President Putin was tightening his military grip around Ukraine. 30,000 Russian troops are amassing along this border. Bombing the Ukrainian psyche first, with a show of force on land and in the sky. 150,000 troops had soon encircled the country, but it was still a matter of if Russia would invade, not when. We explored the subway stations as hypothetical solutions to hypothetical attacks. This portion of the floor folds up and creates a wall, and this here would quickly become the best bomb shelter in Kyiv. For all the global fear... Russia maintains a massive invasion force ready to attack. The New Zealand head of foreign affairs has described the standoff as one of the most significant risks to international peace since the end of the Cold War. For all the war-ready messaging... They now require between 1.5 and 2 million civilians who are ready to fight to defend their country. Ukrainians kept a sense of calm. Preparation preferred over panic. We have eight year war in our country. When you have neighbors who all time try to kill you, you'll say, that's why we need to defend. Eight years of war. None of this was new. The conflict had been threatening to escalate ever since Ukraine voted for independence in 1991 and the Soviet Union collapsed. By 2014, Ukrainians were ready for a better relationship with the EU and NATO and ousted their pro-Russian president, Viktor Yanukovych. President Putin, desperate to regain control, annexed the prized peninsula of Crimea for Russia and encouraged a separatist rebellion to seize control of the Donbass region in the far east as well. Ukraine never stopped fighting to win its land back. The conflict quietly boiled away for years on end. So by 2022, Ukrainians weren't ready to run. They were ready to win their independence once and for all. I will fight to the nail. Foreigners, though, hurriedly made exit strategies. What it will be to jump in the car and drive away, potentially never come back. So those are all, yeah, wow. stress. As Putin positioned his troops, the world woke up. A parade of European leaders tried to negotiate with him, but the table said it all. US President Joe Biden believes an invasion of Ukraine could happen within the next several days. Putin was in no mood to negotiate, telling the world Ukraine's very statehood was a fiction. In a major power play, Vladimir Putin has ordered Russian troops to enter Ukraine on what he calls a peacekeeping mission. Ukrainians placed their hope in God. They knew what was coming. Any day, any night, any time, I'm ready. And they knew no one was coming to save them.